everyone. Well, in continuous with Nahla, I should say, I remember um, there was a local market near my uh, student flat in Glasgow a couple of times uh, after night out with friends drunk. Uh, I would go to that market to get some food to uh, cure my hunger. And three times there was a uh, cashier there. Whenever I, I, he was there, I was going there, he would say, where are you from, my brother? I would say, oh, I'm from Iran. I would say, uh, that's not halal, the sandwich. I would get always get the non-halal ones. And, okay, thank you. So, um, so um, when someone figures out that I'm ex-Muslim, the first question is that when did you start um, not believing the religion. Well, my answer always is that I don't remember um, bullet points saying that, for, for example, from age 10 or X, I started not being, not being Muslim. Never uh, this sort of stuff made sense to me wherever I was being told. It was in school, it was in street, it was in family. So, <clears throat> it's just all, in my view, nonsense, but it doesn't mean that Muslims are evil or whatever. I believe anybody should be respected uh, no matter what they believe in or uh, what they say or, um, till the point that they don't um, they don't uh, say something against others views and ideologies. Uh, Christians have gone through this way before. Uh, there used to be a lot of Christians getting um, hung or whatever, executed for uh, being apostates, so it's not a uh, Muslim or Islam issue, uh, but the thing is that I think Islam should go through this path, uh, and they should make that way and uh, start um, tolerating apostates because uh, simply we won't uh, give up. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not on. Uh, I would talk, uh, I would, I would like to talk about Raf Badawi, uh, the prisoner in Saudi Arabia who is simply in prison for uh, writing about liberal ideas. Uh, for, uh, yeah, for heaven's sake or whatever. I don't want to be rude. Um, so, um, yes, he got lashed 50 times, but hopefully because of the international pressure, uh, has uh, his sentence has got um, postponed for three weeks, so uh, he was sentenced to get 50 lashes every week till uh, his 1,000 lashes gets through. Uh, he was certainly not survived to that point, uh, but I'm disappointed about UK government. I should say that I'm so sorry, but uh, they did nothing. Uh, a lot of governments talked about Raf Badawi, Canada, Germany, um, even UN uh, stood up and talked about to the states the day before uh, his first sentence uh, gave a statement out to the Department of State and said that you've got to stop that but nothing from UK, some simple statements like we um, we don't like that and things like that. But, <laughs> No. So basically lowering the, the slide for the Saudi king. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You have to respect their culture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, that's just disappointing. When Mr. Cameron got asked why um, the flags were flown off for the Saudi king, uh, he replied, uh, well, he was the king. Uh, and then someone else said, was that because of oil? He replied, yes. <laughs> it was because of oil. What a heavy mixture. But you all want to be able to switch your lights on and off. Yes, but uh, green energies exist and technology has got improved and thankfully um, we can uh, cut off from the um, oil and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, Iran, um, a lot of prisoners are in there just because of writing against 
not uh, you know like the way that we talk here, very very moderately talking against the regime. And, um, as the same case as Raf Badabi, eyes being closed uh, for them just because of uh, nuclear discussions or things like I don't know, it's, is it not possible to have them both together? Uh, you should pause one and do the other. Um, the only way to support, uh, the only way to combat the extremism, the, the, to prevent things like Charlie Abdo is to support the opposition uh, in, the, in the field. Um, we talking here uh, would be just helpful in the sense that we support them verbally. Nothing else we can do. But who does the important thing is the opposition, the liberals within the Middle East and that part of the world uh, who can stand in front of the extremists. But unfortunately, uh, we don't support them. The governments don't support them always. As I said, Raf Badawi, he, he talked about liberalism simply. And uh, we say that we close our eyes simply up because of oil. Uh, so that's what happens with Charlie Abdo and probably this sort of thing is going to happen in the future as well because we're not doing as much as we should. Um, the United Nations passes resolutions against the human rights abuses in Iran, one after another, but how many governments do we see that uh, use them, support them? Um, you know, in practice, they may put out statements, but uh, in practice, we really don't see anything. Uh, if we could see anything, Iran was not in the situation that it is right now. Um, so, yeah, I think that's me. But, uh, yeah, we should, the, the West should support the opposition uh, in, the, in the Middle East to yeah, I think that's the only way to combat extremism. Yeah, thank you.